Welcome back to another segment of Michigan Conservative Roundtable. My name's TJ. Please like, share, subscribe. And in this segment, <clears throat> I'll kind of confess, I don't really know where to begin. When you consider the events, uh, you when you read the news of the events in Afghanistan on a daily basis, you continue to be bewildered at, at, the, at the incompetency of the Biden administration. Last, last segment, I mentioned how we had so well armed the Taliban that militarily Afghanistan is more powerful now than its three northern neighbors, uh, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan, okay, uh, and and I mentioned about how we left all that military hardware to include Black Hawk helicopters, and I saw an article today in the Gateway Pundit, and they did give a disclaimer. They did give a disclaimer, but it sure looks like as they were flying around one of the helicopters. They were hanging, as in like, like when you hang someone for execution, they were hanging someone from the helicopter as they were driving around. The, it, the reason why the Gateway Pundit gave a disclaimer is because of the distance, the lack of clarity. I mean, you, uh, they couldn't 100% confirm that it was a dead body, okay? But the suspicion is it was. Uh, and, and, and Taliban was basically indicating this is what they <clears throat> this is what they do to traitors. And then you consider the Biden administration giving a list of American allies to the Taliban because in their naivete, they they thought the Taliban would ensure, safe passage for these allies of ours, not realizing that they basically gave them a kill list. You know, uh, they thought the Taliban would secure the airports, uh, basically so that the remaining forces, which were outnumbered, wouldn't be attacked, only for us to be attacked by a suicide bomber. You know, because it was pretty obvious that, we're, that we were leaving uh, those that cooperated with us behind with no intention of getting them out, I read a news report about an unsanctioned group led by a retired Lieutenant Colonel Scott Mann, formerly of the Special Forces, as in Green Beret, and he was leading a group of retired Special Ops guys, and they were... They, we'll, we'll, we'll use the word smuggling. They were smuggling people basically into the airport to get them out of the country. And it all began when the original intent was that there was an Afghan commando that they were just hell-bent on helping him get out of the country. But well, then after he did that, they commenced to help. Uh, I forget the exact count, but it seemed to me it was over 630 people. So this unsanctioned, unauthorized, retired special op guys came together and smuggled into the airport over 630 people. And <clears throat> the way I read, because I, re I read a couple different news reports on it, and what they were doing was is they weren't going in direct contact with the Taliban. They'd, uh, they, they had a special uh, way of authenticating uh, themselves. They were using a, a pineapple on their smartphone to show the special ops guys that uh, that uh, they were the ones that that they they needed to get out. And so what they would do, they I guess they were smuggling them through the sewer system, through the sewage canals. I mean, you talk about walking through shit just to get out of there, literally. Okay, uh, you know I and I said before, you know, a couple couple segments ago. Uh, you know Biden's legacy. Well, you know, just just more material to 
illustrate Biden's legacy. You know, I'm hearing about some of the Democrats uh, wanting to impeach Biden. And, 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 and let me tell you something about that. I don't trust them. I think they want Kamala Harris as president instead of him. So, yeah, let's impeach President Biden. Uh, and, of course, the goofball Republicans will help him out with that. Next thing you know, we got a, a purebred communist as a president. So, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not buying, I'm not buying that, okay? Woke military leadership. You know, uh, you talk about surrounding yourself with a bunch of yes men. It, it it doesn't end. This this ought to be an election issue. I sure hope it is. Midterms are over a year away yet, and 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 I'm afraid people will forget. And I know <clears throat> I know there's uh, a select few, primarily maybe our subscribers and and those of like mind. And we're not going to forget. But when I think of the uh, society in general. I'm afraid that the society is going to be more worried about putting gasoline into their SUVs and 4x4s and recreational vehicles and, and motorboats and homes and everything else. I, I think that's going to be a bigger concern, a bigger issue uh, to people than, uh, than what happened in Afghanistan. Now, I'll tell you where that might play a part is if gasoline's five, six, seven, who knows how much per gallon. Now, now that may get their attention, and maybe you know what? Maybe that's what it takes. You know, I often heard it say, "People deserve the government they get," and 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 if uh, if this going along to get along just so I can keep keep my recreational vehicles, if I mean if that's how it is, then maybe collectively as a society, this is what we deserve. Okay, as far as uh, those who give a rip, uh, or as I like to say give a rodent's derriere, uh, all we can do is prepare. Just prepare and uh, soften the blow, I guess. Okay, that's it. Enough of my rant for this one. Thanks, everyone. As always, be safe. Watch your six, and don't tread on me.